What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today we'll be talking about if 2k secretly patches our jump shots. Just want to make it clear, I'm not talking about jump shots in general, I'm talking about individual jump shots, like your T-Mac base, your Torian Prince base, and all those individual base and release animations. Even in the past years, it's been an ongoing issue that some players believe that 2k does it and some players believe otherwise, so in this one here, I will give my take. I actually have the same video a couple of months ago about this one, but this one here will have more points to make my point clearer. And just a quick disclaimer that this one here is just my assumption. It's really hard to, you know, really conduct a test to justify if 2K patches something or not. But of course, that assumption won't just come out of nowhere. I will base it on my experience on how I understand how the game works on my five years of being a content creator. And it would be really awesome as well if you can watch the video fully so you can get the full context. So you won't leave the video misinformed. And please leave any feedback after watching. So now let's get right into it. So I'll get this one really straight to the point. Do I think 2k patch are individual jump shots? Because some players think that the moment the content creator promoted the jump shot, some viewers say that now it's going to be patched. In my opinion, I don't think they patch it like that. I know some of you might not agree with it, but before you comment or leave the video, please hear me out first. I'm not saying that what you're feeling is not right, that you missing shots is just you. What I'm trying to say here is that maybe there are some other reasons. That it's not because your specific jump shot was patched. Here are the possible reasons. First one, fluctuation of latency. Now, to give you an idea how can a small fluctuation of latency influence your shot, I'll show you these. This shot meter here is representing around 600 to 900 milliseconds. And that small green window there is representing roughly around 25 to 35 milliseconds. So it means that the target is super small. So imagine if your latency fluctuates for a bit, imagine how much impact can affect your shot success. Actually, I made a test about this one some months ago. I calculated the delay between the moment you release the shoot button and the moment the shot meter gets full. And here you can see, one shot has a delay of 0.7 seconds, and the other shot has just a bit above one second. Keep in mind, these are shots that were taken on the same session, like some seconds away to each other. And this was on Gatorade courts. Imagine if it's an actual game, it'll be worse. So that's how latency can fluctuate. Here's one more perspective. When I test for jump shots, the moment I change my mode controller's timing to around 5 milliseconds, especially if I'm around the edge of the green window, there will be a noticeable make percentage change. What I'm trying to say here is that a 5 milliseconds change on timing, which sometimes can be caused by a fluctuation of latency, can cause a lot of mess. And to give you more perspective on how small that 5 milliseconds is, 1 second have 1000 milliseconds. So it means that you have around 200 times of 5 milliseconds in 1 second. And that's how small 5 milliseconds is. So my point here is a small fluctuation of latency can mess everything up. So try to entertain the fact that if you're missing, it could be just a fluctuation of latency. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed badge and stat testings. First week I'm going to do stuff like, you know, speed, speed with ball, strength, acceleration, vert, and all the stuff you need to know on the first week before you finalize your build. And I'm doing this thing full time, so expect a lot of videos coming your way. Trust me, subscribing to this channel will be one of your best investment this year. Now for the next possible reason why you're feeling a change is the overall patch on shooting. Like if there's a general patch on shooting, of course every jump shot will feel different. But it doesn't mean that your specific base or release animations were patched. Next possible reason is you or your momentum. For me personally, there are some cases that I shoot above 50% on a good stretch of games, then suddenly I will miss 10 straight. Then I took a break, then suddenly everything went normal. Doesn't mean that I was patched for a good 30 minutes, I don't think so. I'm not saying that that's what's always happening to you, I'm just saying that maybe it could be the reason why you feel a change sometimes. Now for the next one, this one here is not really directly related to the topic, but it will give you some perspective. I believe the actual boost on your base or release don't have much impact on your make percentage. For me personally, when I choose a jump shot, my top factors are the flow of the visuals, like how easy can you track a visual cue, and the challenge reduction. I just believe that whatever internal boost those base and release animations can give you, it won't be that much. I'll show you these. On the green or miss system, on this roughly around 30 milliseconds of green window, there's a lot of variables that are controlling its size. You got your 3 point weighting, which is 25 to 99 points, probably around 5 gold to hall of fame badges including dimer of the passer that will kick in at the same time on one shot, 
the takeover, your hot zones, your skill boost, and could be some other stuff, and plus your jump shot animations. So with all those factors controlling this small green window, and some of those are even paid on the builder, I don't really think that this small factor here, I'm talking about the jump shot animations, which is technically free, will have noticeable effect. That's just my whole point on this video, that there could be some other reasons why you're missing shots, and I don't think that internal boost on your jump shot animations is the main reason for it. I don't think 2K patch it like other players think. Actually, one of the reasons why I uploaded this video is for these comments like this. Because some viewers think that now that I shared a good base or jump shot, or some other content creator shared a good jump shot, now 2K will patch it. I just don't think it works like that. But again, all these are just my opinion. I didn't really conduct a really direct test to prove it. But if you reach this point of the video, I hope all the stuff that I mentioned a while ago made sense to you. So that's all for the video. Would be really awesome if you can share your opinion about the topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.